How's it going everybody? My name is Nori Plays and welcome back to Incredibox and today we have some exciting things to cover. I am a bit late to this, it's been um, a few months after this has come out, but still I want to check this out because the scratch mod was pretty good. It gave, even though I played the wrong one. I played the wrong one, but yeah, very, very cool mod. This is Orin Ao, if you don't know what I'm talking about. Horror themed Incredibox mod. I know, right? We're back to another horror mod right after Monochrome. What I want to say before we do start, though, we have a Discord down in the description for you to check out. And one more bit of exciting news is that I'm getting into modding. Mark my words, I will make a mod at some point. I'm just learning. It's a very steep learning curve. But yeah, all right, let's go. Orineo. I don't know what this beta thing is. This looks like a meme, so I don't think we're going to be doing that at any point. But the main attraction is here, the Orin AO unofficial remake. So it's not made by the same people or anything like that. It was made by a whole different group of people. And I'll link them if possible because the video, their video got taken down on YouTube. Great. So yeah, judging from the main screen already, I just love the art. That could easily be my wallpaper. Again, the Orin AO text is really gritty, really like energetic really aggressive and there's a mess happening on the screen with like tentacles and their uh, hentai huh? but let's go play there is no bonus in the version i have i don't know if there's a bonus now so i guess we're gonna have to deal with it there's also two secret polos interesting but as always beats effects melodies voices I hope, at least, anyway. Alright, let's start with the first polo. Let's get right into it. I love the little eye. The pupil. The way that pupil goes smaller. Such good attention to detail. The beat is really cool as well. Uh, that is not creepy at all. Are those blades on his arms? What is that? Is that bones? I hope those aren't bones, you know. Well, I guess we'll find out if YouTube uh, strikes the video and then I'll have to repost it. You know what? I like the sound of that. It sounds like underground hip-hop, if you know what I mean. And I don't know if you guys will, will be able to notice this in the recording, but... The stuff looks very blurry, and I don't know what that's about. It's not very sharp-looking. Which also kind of adds to the... It makes me feel uneasy. I mean, let's be honest, Orin Ao wasn't really known for its sounds to begin with. And so far the beats, they were good, like the first three were good, but this one, a bit lacking, a bit lacking, but the polo design was like, what? What kind of dreams are you people having? Damn. I I like that. I, lo I like that polo, especially with that face there in the freeze frame. There's probably a bunch of lore about this, and before you comment, to be honest, I look at things at surface level. I don't look at mods for the lore, I look at mods for the sounds, for the polo designs, which probably have the story backed behind them, but the main focus for me is how the polos look and how they sound. If they sound good, if they look good, that's all I care about, man. So before you go raging at me in the comments about lore, please, just know that I do not focus on lore, at least in, on Incredibooks. Alright, let's go to effects. Effects 1. Oh, 
Oh. Oh. That polo not only looked good, but it sounded good. I love that bass. Very dark and grim and melancholic. It's like a glitched phone call. Okay. Creepy as hell. Uh, I'm just gonna give it that. Very atmospheric. And the polo's... Yeah, the polo is the polo. I mean... Are you good? What are you looking for? Me? That's like a jump scare. That's enough to give you a jump scare. That polo is super cool looking. The sound is also really good. You know what? This is my favorite effect so far because it is so weird and quirky and really well designed, but the bass just sounds better. You know what I mean? Gas mask. <laughs> okay, fair enough. You need some help breathing. There we go, the last effect. Wait, I remember this guy. I remember this guy. What does he do in this one, though? Right. Something completely different. And then he does that again, right? Yeah. Fair enough. You know what? Fair enough. That is horrifying, though. Very horrifying. Melodies... I'm wondering about the guitar guy. I haven't seen the guitar guy yet, but... Oh, we remember this guy. Yep. It reminds you of, like... A shopping mall. In the middle of winter. I don't know why that reminds me of that. It's probably because I've played a lot of games that had that. Yeah, sick polo as always. The, re the remake of it is really good. Especially with the little glowing elements around the outside. Uh, the smooth transitions between each thing. Sick. Even the TV looks better. Wait, what does that say? I need to read that. R e s T A restart. Yeah, restart. Okay, sick. I enjoyed that. Hello, what is your name? It's the bandage guy, right? Dude, I got awfully. That melody is so dark that my ears are like vibrating. You can hear like some sort of glitching in the background. Oh, the reverb was there. Okay, dope. I guess, what the hell? Melody 4. Is that the guitar, dude? Or woman? What is it? <laughs> Tell you what, it is a lot better sounding. It's still not there, like in terms of where it possibly could be. But I guess they're trying to stay true to what the sound initially was, and that's kind of hard. That's kind of hard. Oh my god. This is the most detailed one in the mod, because of these wings here, and the eyeball. Okay. Sweet. I don't know how I'm gonna get the mix, but done. That's all. 
It kind of cuts into the second loop, though. Wait, unless it cuts back here. Yeah. You can hear, like, the jump in the loudness of it. The melodies are dope, actually. I think I like this mod a lot better than the Scratch one, just because it's a lot more polished, I think. But in a way, the Scratch one, because it wasn't polished, it was a lot creepier. I don't know. I don't know. What do you guys think? Uh, let's go into the voices, though. Let's go into the voices. There is no bonus, so after the voices, we'll just do the mix. Hey, my man. Baldy. Baldy's basics. Where's your teeth at? Wait, I forgot. Do hold on, hold on. Do Incredibox characters have teeth? Have we ever thought about that? Alright. Sick. Next. Eyeball or something coming out? No, it was a mouth. Great. That sounds... terrifying. Oh, that's just creepy. The sound of that is so creepy. It's almost like a shy character because he's looking away from you. And then he get, gets a glance at you and then looks away again. You see that? And that's what makes it kind of un unnerving, actually. Because most polos just look at you. They just look straight at you, but this guy's like looking away, he's trying to hide something. That's new! That's definitely new. Cool design though. With the hands animated on the mask. Sweet. Oh, the reverb went crazy there. I do like that, though. I like me some reverb. Alright. And then the final one, and I assume these two are secret polos or something? Let me know what the lyrics are. You know what? Let me know what the lyrics are. In the mix, I'll try to add the lyrics if I can figure them out with the help of other people. But if I get them wrong, let me know. This is what we call Oreneo. Sweet design. I love the fact that the lyrics are kind of intertwined into the character. Um, and the sound design is really good. Combined with stuff, it's probably going to sound really sick. Right, hello. That looks so quirky. What? That glitch had me worried there for a minute. I thought it was going to come out the screen. Oh, this guy. Isn't that technically like a melody? Technically, I would put that there. I don't think models have like figured out how to do that. Because I've noticed that all of the extra stuff always just goes at the end there. Which is fine, you know, which is fine. It's just like... It'd make it look a little more coherent if it was more organized into where it should be, you know? But, uh, my thoughts, my thoughts, what the hell did I just go through? I think I went through more nightmare fuel than I did in monochrome, actually. So it was pretty terrifying. Um, a lot of the designs, especially this last one here. What is that, my dude? What am I looking at? Um, yeah, very terrifying. 
In terms of the spooks, I give it more like a a nine, very nine esque spooks. Um, the sound design is probably less though. It's probably like a seven or. A I don't want to say six. I don't think I'm going to go as low as six, but seven, maybe low eight for the sound design because it still needs some work here and there. Um, but we can always see what, what it looks like in a mix. But as always, we're on the road to 10,000 subscribers. So if you've made it as far into the video, please, please, I beg you from the lords above the heavens that you hit the red button subscribe because over 95 percent 94 percent of you are not subscribed which is crazy what are you doing if you're enjoying the videos just subscribe man it helps me out a lot and you get recommended my videos more often win-win so i'm not gonna waste any more time let's get right into this bloody mix let's go <laughs>
and that was Oroneo. That was surprisingly good. Once you started putting them together, like, Jesus. Jesus were these good. All of them. Well, pretty much all of them. The only one I'm not a fan of, again, like I wasn't a fan of last time, to be honest, was the guitar. That's simply because the guitar just didn't make much sense there. It really didn't. I tried to fit it into the mix as much as I could. But something about it just sounds so off what, compared to everything else within the mix. This guy was really cool for the atmosphere. Uh, I don't know if I've used all of them. Ah, oh, I missed out on the opportunity to even use my favorite one. I forgot. When there's this many polos just shoved in your face. This guy as well. Um. Wow, there's so many polos I still didn't even use in our mix. But I still think I did a... Pretty good job, I want to say. I, at least I think so. Um, with the mix and everything else. I tried to use as much as I can, like I usually do. But, really cool mod. Really cool mod. As always, I'll leave a link to it if I do find one. If not, I don't know how you can support the person that made it because the original video got banned. So I don't know who even made this. And I really would like to credit them, but as always, please check the description because it might be there. I might end up finding it. Who knows? Overall, this mod? 8.5 from me. 8.5 or a 9 out of 10. Again, there's just some melodic elements missing. The mix, I've noticed the mix in the audio was pretty high. It was very, it was a very loud mod once all the sounds kind of stacked with each other. Which is, again, just down to the mixing of the audio. Apart from that, let me know what you thought of the Orinori AO remake down in the comments below. Did you enjoy it? Did you hate it? Did you enjoy the sounds? Did you hate the polos, maybe? Apart from that, leave a comment. Subscribe, because we're on that 10k grind. And smash that like button for me. That would help me out a boatload. But apart from that... I'll see you guys in the next video on Friday. Peace out, bruh.